Good morning and good evening. My name is Eastman and today I received a package in the mail all the way from Japan. So here it is right here guys uh, all the way from Japan and I covered up the seller's name obviously and my stuff because <laughs> I don't want you to see that. And of course there's all the mailing and postage info on that but we are going to get right into this right now. I cannot wait to open this bad boy up here. So this is actually a, an item that I've been wanting for a really long time. Um, and I'm going to show off a couple of other items from my personal collection that are related, you know? Um, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute after you see this, but I cannot wait. I can't believe I finally own this, by the way. This is something, like I said, I've always wanted um, in my collection for so long, and I didn't even know that it was a real thing for the longest time, but here we go. Easy now. All right. Interesting packaging. <laughs> I guess to just cover it up. That's cool. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, wow, what is this? Pocket Monsters X, Y, and Z. What is this? We'll get back to this in a second. I have no, I don't know what that is. Um, but anyway, this is the item right here, guys. I'm going to tear this off. All right, there's Charizard on the front. Um, we're just going to... Just... As usual, I don't... I hope it didn't just hit my TV. <laughs> so there's Charizard on the front there and Venusaur on the back. So obviously this is all in Japanese and if you don't know what this is, let me explain. So down here in the corner it says GBA Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green Music Super Complete. And so what I found out a few years ago is that the CD soundtracks for all of the mainline series Pokemon games were released only in Japan. So all of that nostalgic music that you remember from playing Pokemon Emerald or Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green here, even the DS and the 3DS games also came out with CD soundtracks, these uh, music super completes. It's just one of these really rare oddities that I don't know if a lot of people really know about here in the US. But if you're like me, when you played the games as a kid, a lot of the nostalgia for me comes from the music. And the fact that I can own the entire soundtrack uh, just means a lot to me. So. There's a couple CDs in here, you can tell it's like a thicker type of CD, and I, I will showcase a few of these other ones that I already have in my collection uh, here in a minute, but I kind of know what to expect from this, so let's get into it. Ooh, okay, CD kind of fell out during shipping. That's no problem. Look at the Master Ball cover art there. That's so sick. Pikachu Records, everything like that. We got Blastoise and Snorlax there too. We're going to pull out this. Uh, pamphlet here too. Let's take a look at that. And there's the Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball too. That's pretty nice. So Blastoise on the front. Um, these are all the tracks. This is disc one. So on disc one there are 73 tracks. Um, and from what I remember when I played one of my other ones for my collection, a lot of them are like sound effects too. So a lot of them are like one or two seconds long. Um, so it's not like hours and hours and hours of content. It's more just every single soundbite and piece of music from the Game Boy games are on this. It's just incredible how they got away with this. And disc two, it looks like there's 17 tracks. Oh my god, look at all these like screenshots from the game. So you have all the trainers, Misty, Brock, Lieutenant Surge, and I mean, look at the Pikachu there, the Safari Zone, all the different routes that you get to go on. Um, this is so cool. This is really bringing it back. Okay, so wait, we have all the gym trainers. And the Elite Four as well, the final battle uh, between red and blue. That is that is so cool. Um, it's starting to all come back to me right now, guys. There's Moltres, Zapdos. Um, look at this. This is so cool. Um, yeah, the Elite Four too, Giovanni. Um, I wish I could read and understand Japanese to get an understanding of what all this is here on the right. Um, and we have the original three starters. That's cool. But yeah, this is really sick. I love, like, they went through all this effort to make this possible. There's Deoxys forms there, got a Charizard on his head there, um, and some more screenshots. And I guess they have sort of an homage to the original red, green, blue, and yellow uh, Kanto region games um, that Fire Red and Leaf Green were of course remade from. Um, but this is cool. There's the the discs. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's basically it. Um, and oh, and there's Mewtwo. Oh my god, check that out. I love that artwork. That is so, so sick. Um, before we get into the other stuff in my collection, let's find out what this is. I, I just don't know. It's got like a gold seal on it. I, it doesn't even feel like there's anything inside, but we're just gonna, we're gonna check it out. 
Kind of strange. I mean, maybe it's like one of those things that the sellers just put in there for fun. Is it empty? Is it really empty? Oh no, there's a card. Thank you for your purchase. Have you received the CD safely? Yes. I hope you like it. I do. Um, yeah, okay. So leave your feedback, that kind of thing. So let's take a look at some other stuff in my collection. So just like Fire Red and Leaf Green, I also have Ruby and Sapphire, which for me, Generation 3 defined my childhood. Pokemon Emerald was my very first introduction into Pokemon. I didn't even know what it was. I just thought the artwork on the front of Rayquaza was cool. So I got it as a kid and my life was changed. I love Pokemon so much. And so the fact that I could get all of the music from the Generation 3 games and I can own this just means so much to me. So now my childhood is almost complete. All I need is Diamond and Pearl. That also exists, but to me, I think that's, from what I've seen online, is the most expensive one. A lot of people love that soundtrack, uh, me included, so that's gonna be a tough one to get. Um, I'll have to put some money aside for it one day. But there we go, Fire Red and Leaf Green, Ruby and Sapphire. And there's Kyogre on the back, and also the original price tag, which I can't read, so that's great. Um, let's take a look at this one too, real quick. Um, there's Latias, we got a Pokeball, and what I love about this one is that it has all of the sprites from the game, the entire Pokedex from start to finish, starting with Trico all the way down. It has every single sprite from the game, which I think is really cool, and it, um, I believe it continues on the other side. And yeah, there's the Great Ball as well. We have the Regis, Latias, Latios, Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza, so all the legendaries at the bottom. Um, but I love the sprites, it's so nostalgic, it's just what I remember from years and years and years of playing this game. Um, let's take a look at this as well. So, pretty much the same thing, lots of screenshots from the game, lots of original cool artwork. Um, and there's the starters, your intro to the game, picking your starters. But yeah, just seeing these screenshots from this game just brings me back, and it makes me want to play it again. I've probably played Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire. I mean, hundreds of times. I, I love the game so much. Um, there's Groudon and Kyogre. There's the battles with them there, and uh, Maxi and Archie as well. Um, we have some more gym leaders, the Regis, and the champion at the end, Steven, the boy. We have some more sprites here too, some more info. Um, talks a little bit about the soundtrack scoring it too, I guess. Check that out. Um, Fire Red and Leaf Green didn't have this. This is like... Uh, production notes and stuff so it actually shows them recording it that's I love that I haven't looked at this in a minute so really really cool there's Latios on the back and there's the full scale picture of the Hoenn region I do have one more I want to show you guys today too but it's not from the games this one is really special to me this is also a Japanese Pokemon soundtrack CD um, that was really really difficult to find it took me forever to get this but this is the soundtrack CD for Pokemon Ranger and the Temple of the Sea. I think this is the best Pokemon movie that they've ever made besides the first. I mean, it's hard to top the original, right? But to me, this one makes me cry a little bit, guys. I'm not going to lie. This one is just so nostalgic. Um, and I love the story. The music is, of course, the standout here for me. So I had to get the soundtrack, and I'm just so happy that it even exists on a physical disc that just means a lot so there's the iconic artwork with Manaphy and look at this disc look at the vibrant blue colors and everything just really pops on this artwork so my favorite part though other than the music is the artwork behind the CD are you ready check that out it's so vibrant and it just makes me think of the movie I just absolutely love the colors on this it's gorgeous um, so again, in Japanese, I don't know how to read it, but there it is. There's a bunch of tracks on here too. I mean, every single piece of music across all of this Pokemon stuff here uh, is just extremely nostalgic for me. And these are really, really expensive and rare. I'm sure I'd put the prices up on screen of what they're worth, but really, really rare oddities that I'm not sure people really know about. So I just wanted to spread the word on these. Um, if you're interested in picking these up, all I can say is Put your safe searches up on eBay, Mercari, whatever. You might stumble upon them. I've still got mine um, up for Diamond and Pearl. That's the last one I really want for my collection. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing with me today, and if you did, be sure to drop a like down below. And tell me in the comments, what is your favorite Pokemon game of all time? And as always, my name is Eastman, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.